Hey everybody, welcome back to another Craftopia Seamless World tutorial. Uh, so this one I kind of want to show you uh, what it's like to go through a dungeon after you've already defeated it. Uh, this is, I'm going to do the story mode and the Ruin of Hunters where the Wasteland's Lizard Gunner exists. So you can see I've got options to do the, you know, to farm him, but I'm going to do the story mode first and then I'll come back and show you how you can farm a boss to get uh, enchantment scrolls. This is a, a bit of an earlier build when I filmed this, uh, so some of this might have changed, but I think most of it's pretty much the same right now. So the first part is I'm just going to go through the dungeon, uh, you know, just complete the puzzles, defeat the enemies, and then when I defeat the Wasteland Gunner and come back out, I'm going to show you how you can just go and farm the boss over and over again.
And as you can see, there were no chests there because I'd already defeated that dungeon. And this was the old build where you get the key to evolution for defeating him, but you no longer get that. So you just go to this little kiosk outside of the dungeon. And when you search it after you've beaten it, you've got level selects. So you can turn it up to hard. You can do whatever you want. And then when you enter it, if you don't choose the story mode, you'll go straight to the boss and you can farm the boss. So this way you can farm the materials they drop. And then once you defeat the boss, you're going to get a chance to pick up some enchantment scrolls. So you'll get access to some enchantments that you might not necessarily be able to access uh, anywhere else in the game that you can extract from other things. But you can get them from these scrolls. One of the key things to remember, though, is the enchantment scrolls just give you one point for your enchantment. So you may have to, you know, do this several times in order to get enough of the, the enchantments built up to actually be able to apply those to one of your weapons or one of your equipment. So there I got werewolf, budding, bears, easy to find that type of stuff. All right, well, that's about wraps this up. I just kind of wanted to show you that you could go through here and farm bosses like this and farm enchantment scrolls. So that way you can pretty much build up whatever enchantment you want. Once again, it's all randomized and you only get one scroll each, but you can get multiples of the same scroll with each run. Uh, so, you know, just try it out, farm it, get those enchantments. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop a comment. If you, uh, like what we're doing here consider giving us a like and a thumbs up and a subscri subscribe and as always thanks for watching